I've got a knock-knock joke. Thank you. Uh, you know what's really got me down? My recent divorce. <laughs> I really didn't like her much anyway, really. It's no big deal. You guys don't have to feel sorry for me. Life is better. Happily divorced is what they like to say at the meetings that I go to. You guys travel the world. I was in Europe last summer, went to uh, Germany, uh, Frankfurt, Germany. I like to notice all the similarities and differences in our cultures. Uh, one similarity is we all speak English for some reason. And we are the superior race. Thank you. And they have very, am I right though? They all speak English. I'm saying English speaking people are the superior race, not you guys. Not me. You like dirty jokes. Did you hear the one about the two white horses that fell in the mud puddle after the Dutch girl sucked them off? <laughs> you've heard, you've heard that one. I won't, uh, I won't bore you with that one. It is a good one though. <laughs> it's really dirty. Now the problem I think we're having is that people don't respect this joke the way they need to respect it. Knock knock joke is a very old joke. It's been around years and years and years, probably well before the front door was even invented. I bet cavemen were probably. What is it? Hey Johnny, we don't we don't need this. Johnny. 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 You got You gotta stop that stuff, man. That's no good. What do you get when you cross Jesus Christ with Count Dracula? What? So I went to a confession this morning, right? I had to go to another confession for that confession. Okay. Because it was a priest. I'm not beneath explaining my jokes. I just want the laughter. <laughs> yes. I am funny. What? What color is a ghost of a smurf? Boo. <laughs> Why? are lesbians just a bunch of conformists because they're always thinking inside the box. 